and welcome back. I'm Rachel O'Leary and today we're in my kitchen because we're going to attempt to build a DIY waterfall feature or weir for my little 40 gallon tough stuff um, patio pond that we've been building in my recent series of Binning on a Budget, trying to create water features in our yard patios, etc. for a very affordable rate. And I was looking, when I purchased um, some of the tubs that I got, I visited various big box uh, hardware stores, and they do sell a lot of the pre-made plastic uh, waterfall features for about $25 to $50. Um, and that's relatively affordable, but I wanted to see if I could make it myself cheaper. Now, this is definitely not an original thought. If you do a Google search or if you look on Pinterest or even YouTube, you can quite find quite a variety of these that have already been made. Um, but most of them are for larger water features and I wanted something that was appropriate for our smaller tubs or for, you know, this, this sort of space conserving application. So let's start with discussing what a weir actually is. Technically a weir is a dam used in a river in order to moderate flow. Um, in a pond application, it is to moderate the flow of the filter often to be used as part of a bog filter um, and to just like calm the flow of the water from very large size pumps into a less turbulent environment that allows for good plant growth as well as the peaceful nature of a lot of the fish kept in ponds. For our application, what I wanted to do is just diffuse the pump a bit. Um, I showed you guys last week the pump that I chose for that Tough Stuff tub, and it's pretty high powered, even turned all the way down. So I thought that that tub in particular was very well suited to making something like this that would diffuse the water, uh, maybe improve the auditory sound of that particular tub, and allow for me to easily plant some more emergent growth plants in this filter box. So what I did is I went to the big box store again, and I grabbed this little, Husky stackable storage bin. It was $3.97. Um, and it, what was important to me is that it was black, that it had this sort of lip here, and that it was of relatively sturdy construction so that I could set it on the edge of my tub. And for $4, I think this really suits the bill. Um, I also picked up this barbed PVC fitting, which hose will fit on one side and then this will screw into this PVC street elbow I picked up, like so. We can drill a hole in this little tub, run this through it. This part will be inside the filter box. And then this will attach to tubing that will go to our, our pump, so it'll make like a loop. And it should be pretty simple. It should be as much, you know, only entail me taking a bit, this whole bit, and drilling a hole threading this through, wrapping it with some Teflon tape, screwing on the PVC, and then if it leaks, sealing it with some silicone. Now at my house, I have most of this stuff laying around. If you've been around for a while, you know we do a lot of DIY projects around this place. I do a bunch myself, my husband does a bunch, we do a bunch together, and all the maintenance and things that go along with home ownership, we basically do on our own. I keep tons and tons of this tubing around in the fish room because I use it as siphon tubing. It's the most economical way to have individualized equipment for my aquariums. I already had, well, this is my husband's, but it's a super ancient um, hole saw bit. You know, I did have to buy this PVC fitting um, and I had to buy this box, but if you were to purchase all this stuff on your own, minus the drill and the bit, it's, hmm, let me see, I wrote down the prices. It was $3.11 for this, the bin was $3.97, the elbow was $1.14, and the tubing was around $9. So you're looking at like 18 bucks, um, all said and done, to, to make this project. Now, again, you can buy ones for $25 plus, dollars. so you're saving a little bit of money, but for me it was more about the customization for my particular project that was important to me. So let's get started making this thing. So the plan is to just drill a hole in the back corner. Um, I think that'll be the most practical place to place the 
nice thing. I'm going to do a, a pilot hole first just because my hole saw bit is pretty wonky. And again, this doesn't need to be like perfect. Now we're going to go ahead and put in the hole saw bit. And do the same thing. See, we have, uh, oops. So now we now have a hole in our box. That aside, clean up my mess to control the chaos that is my life. Do a test fit here. I wanted this to be a pretty tight fit to reduce the risk of leaking. There we go. So I placed a heap and helping of 100% silicone around the base of that fitting. Now you could certainly make a rubber gasket or probably purchase one. Um, but again, this isn't going to be a high pressure fitting. We just need it not to leak. So I think it'll work for our application. I'm going to let that cure. Then we'll test it to see if it does indeed hold water. So my tubing's super stiff. And I'm just going to take a hair dryer to it to try and straighten it out a bit. Uh, I could also put it in the oven on a low temperature, but I'm going to try this first. A lot of times when you buy this tubing from the hardware store, it's kind of flat. And so if you heat it up, you can make it round and easier to use uh, for uh, fitting over specifically the barb fitting I'm using on the pump. You can see it makes it much more pliable in comparison to the end I didn't do. So I just, since it's warm and pliable, slid it over that barbed fitting. So I went ahead and attached the tubing to both the barb fitting and the pump. Let's turn it on and see what happens. So the goals for this is that it would diffuse things a bit because it was pretty uh, tumultuous bubbling. And then hopefully I'll be able to stick some plants up in this box. But I think for, for what I hoped for, this is exactly the result I wanted. Now I might need to tweak it a little bit. There we go. Um, I'll have to see how stable it stays. I may need to put something underneath the box in the back to support it. I have plenty of spare lumber or pavers around. But all in all, not bad. I'm pretty stoked. So the total cost for this project with all the materials, including the ones I didn't use, was $17. I think in reality I used about 10 bucks worth of materials if we actually take into consideration the length of tubing that I used and, and the rest I'll use down in the fish room for a siphon. So for 10 bucks, I'm really, really happy with how this project turned out. So much so that I think I'm gonna go back, buy more of those little boxes and make a bunch more for some of my other tubs. Um, I, I just think it turned out really well and I can't wait to see if I plant it or not. So make sure you're subscribed with that notification bell on so you don't miss any of those updates. 
as well as the future videos in this series of summer tubbing or binning on a budget. Um, so far, so good, and I've really just been enjoying myself. Um, as always, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below.